Hi, it's Don Walters with The Clinical Trials Guru. Again, that website is www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Hey, let's talk about placebos. Uh, and this conversation is, is mostly for those who are looking to get into a study. And when you run across a study that tells you there's a placebo involved in it, so you have an idea of exactly what a placebo is if you don't know. And um, you'll also have an idea, too, of where we're coming from in the clinical arena about uh, placebos. Uh, when I was a kid, placebos were typically referred to as uh, someone taking a, a sugar pill. You know, it's usually given to the woman down the street who's always running in to see the doctor because she's got migraines or got this illness and that illness. And the doctor find out that these are just basically somatic complaints that, that uh, don't exist. So you give her a sugar pill and she feels better. And she's cured, at least until the next uh, issue comes up. But anyway, that's how I learned about it as a kid. Um, um, and the research, the placebo, if I can put it in these terms, is basically a, it's, it's a pill, but it's non-medication. Uh, it doesn't do anything for you. And it might be a sugar pill for all I know. Um, the reason they do that sometimes, too, they want to compare the actual study medication against the uh, placebo medication and to see what the outcome might be. If the outcome is high against the placebo, then they know this medication is, it, it sounds like, or it looks like a medication that uh, may work. And then, of course, then they go into comparing it to existing medication that it's going to be competing against. Uh, that's kind of what a placebo is. Um, again, it's, it's that... Um, Again, what I refer to as a sugar pill um, that's used to uh, kind of get your brain to thinking that, hey, I'm okay. You know, if you think about it, years ago, um, hundreds of years ago, before there was any real medication, um, what did they do? I mean, you got the guys who are in the local village, the shamans or the wish doctors or whatever you want to call them, the little local doctors that, that cured everyone of stuff. They used placebo effects. Uh, it was always it's a suggestion of the mind. If I'm feeling better, if if this is going to work for me, and the doctor says it's going to work, then it works, and I'm okay. Now I I imagine I'm not a doctor, but I imagine for long term effects for things that are chronic, it's not going to work for long. You might feel okay for the moment, but if you got a chronic illness, it's going to keep creeping back up, and you're going to have to deal with that. And that's why you deal with real medications, and that's why we're always looking for better and better medications to control the uh, symptoms of whatever chronic illness you have as well as reduce the side effects. Um, so that's kind of uh, what a placebo is. It's, it's again, it's, it's a non-medication, what I call a non-medication that doesn't do anything. And you use that to compare that against the um, trial medication to see exactly what the outcome is going to be. So I hope that helps you if you're looking to get into a study and you run across a study that uh, says that they have a uh, placebo, um, they're, they're testing this medication against the placebo. At least you have an idea of what you're dealing with and what a placebo is. So anyway, this is Don signing off from The Clinical Trials Guru. Again, that website is www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Thank you.